talking today about lesson 6.4, which is standard form. This is the second day we spent on this. The slope intercept form is just one form of a linear equation. Another form is standard form. And we just added this to your uh, yellow sheet. Standard form of a linear equation is AX plus BY equals C, where A, B, and C are real numbers, and A and B are both not zero. That should not be real numbers. That should be integers. Definition. Standard form of an equation requires that A, B, and C be alter. This is what you have to indicate. All right. Which of the following are written in standard form? Take a look at A. Is this standard form? AX plus BY equals C. A, B, and C are integers. Is A positive? Oh, Lord love a duck. It is the same thing. But, but, that makes it better. A is positive. And what is the only number that divides into 4, 3, and 7? 1. So that is standard form. If, well, I get what they're saying. I'm going to debate that one is in standard form. I mean, it is. Okay? That's just ridiculous. I'm guessing that these notes are saying, no, it's not, but it really is, because all you got to do is move it. Okay, so this is, yes. Is this one in standard form? Correct. This is standard form. Okay. Ah, is this standard form? No. Why not? Well, um, uh, yeah, it's not an integer. So, this is not. This is yes. So, while we're at it, let's talk about how we can transform that formula into standard form because you are going to have to do this. It's super duper easy. If you don't like fractions, what should you do? equals C. 
this is positive, there are no integers, and does 2, 3, and 15 have any other factors besides 1? 2, 3, and 15. Do they have any other common factors besides 1? No. So that is standard form. All right. Here we go. Transform that into standard form. First of all, what form is that almost in? Right? So if I wrote it this way, that's slope intercept form, right? All right. How do I transform that into standard form? What should I do, Nick? Comma, subtract 2x from both sides. So, on this left side, am I going to have negative 2x plus y equals 2? Does everybody follow me? Is that standard form? Why is it not standard form, Audrey? Correct. I have all integers. I've got x and y on one side and my um, constant on the other, but I've got a negative a value. So what should I do? Or, the truth is right. She said divide everything by negative 1. What's the other thing I could do? Can I multiply everything by negative 1? Same difference. We're basically changing every single sign. So, this is going to be positive 2x minus y equals negative 8. Yeah? Because, think about it. Could I add 2x to both sides, subtract y, and subtract 8? I can do that. Or I can multiply by negative 1 or divide by negative 1. Is that standard form? Yes. Because 2, negative 1, and negative 8 are all integers. A is positive, and the greatest common factor of 2, negative 1, and negative 8 is 1. Alrighty. What should I do here? Next. So I'm going to have 2y equals negative 3x plus 4. <coughs> now I have a question. Because part of your homework is going to be this. If I said to you, I want that to be slope intercept form, pretend the direction says slope intercept form, what would I do at this point? I divide everything by 2. I divide everything by 2. But that's not what it says. It says standard form. So we're getting closer. Tell me what to do to go to standard form. Say. Well, what did you say? Plus 3x. Plus 3x. No double signs, right? So, on this left side, I'm going to have 3x plus 2y equals 4. Is that standard form? A, B, and C are integers. This is positive. There's no common factor. All right. Here we go. What form is this in? It's in slope intercept. Okay. Let's get this in standard. What would I do? And let's do something else first. Add one fourth x to both sides. Let's get x and y on the proper sides first before we start manipulating anything else. Okay. Now, and. What you said is certainly not wrong, but I like to get it in the proper alignment first and then deal with the detail. So, this will be 1 fourth x plus y equals 2. Now, what is lacking here? What is lacking? Uh, really? A is not an angle. So, how would I make 1 fourth? Into an integer. Multiply the whole thing by 4. And mathematically speaking, this is not proper. But that's the way I like to show it. And we're going to do this a lot over the course of the next month. You multiply everything 
by four. So one giant distributive property. So four times one fourth x is what? Four times one fourth x is x. Because four times one fourth is one. Four times positive y is positive four y, and four times six is twenty-six. Yes? Is that standard form? All right. I'm not in love with all these examples because they're all exactly the same. I want you to cross this one out and let's do this problem. So, is that in standard form? No. Why not? Because A is negative, does anybody recognize it? How about two? They have, a greatest, they have a factor of two, a common factor of two. So, let's kill two birds with one stone. What should I do to fix both issues? Who thinks they know what I can do to fix both issues? Chaos! Divide by negative two. Now, you could no multiply by what? Negative one half. Okay. You could multiply by negative one half, or you could divide by negative two. Because isn't multiplying the same, or isn't dividing the same as multiplying by the reciprocal? So, personally, I would do divide every single thing by negative two. So, this is going to be two x. Minus 4y equals 5. Is that now standard form? Yes, yes it is. Yes. Well, because if you say a has to be positive, you can't then say that b has to be positive or negative because you can do that. You can only, and that's standard form. So everybody's equation in standard form is the same. It has those guidelines. And next week, this is going to be clearer to you why that's important. Because I am going to show you that you can write equations of lines in an infinite amount of ways. So the only way you can test to see if your line and your line and your line and your line are the same is either put them all in standard form where you have very specific guidelines. Or, you can actually put them all in cogenesis form because that also is kind of standard English. <laughs> but, you guys understand that this line right here is exactly the same as this one. But if you don't follow the guidelines of A, B, and C, you are looking at it and going, hmm, are they the same or are they different? Okay? Now, one might for play. You burn 10 calories per minute. While swimming laps in a pool, you burn 12 calories per minute. Write an equation in standard form to find the minutes that one must perform each exercise to burn 300 calories. So, <laughs> x equals the number of minutes bicycle. Y equals the number of minutes. What's the other thing we're doing? Swimming. Tell me my equation. If I burn 10 minutes, 10 per minute bicycling, 12 per minute swimming, and I want to burn 300, what would the equation be? Let's just go with what we have. 10x plus 12y equals 300. Now, if I wanted to put that into standard form, I would have to divide them all by 2, right? So this is the same as 5x plus 6y equals 
150. 